everyone, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm showing you how to use an acrylic cake disc. So as a baker, I have definitely grown in my journey and I have learned quite a few different tips and tricks along the way. And one of my favorite tools that I use um, with nearly every cake is an acrylic cake disc and the story behind why I actually started using these. So I have an Instagram account and for baking and one day I woke up and my baking Instagram account had all of these like very mean comments um, on several of my cakes. But the person uh, actually had some things to say about how like my cakes didn't weren't like straight or didn't have sharp edges. And to be honest, she actually had a bit of a point. So I took it upon myself to kind of really grow in that area and figure out ways to help my, cake, my cakes look a little bit sharper. Hence, the acrylic cake, cake disc came into my life. And um, these are very popular in the cake decorating world because they are very helpful. So the size of the cake disc that you're going to want to use depends on the size of your cake. And I have several cake discs in different sizes. So I have one for a four inch cake, six inch cakes, eight inch cakes, and 10 inch cakes when I do like large wedding cakes. Um, the one I have here is 6.25 inches and this is a six inch cake. And the reason that the cake disc is a little bit bigger than um, the cake and the circumference of the cake is because you want the overhang and we're gonna fill this all in with frosting so this cake right now is nothing to write home about it doesn't look good it's like a little bit tilted almost it looks like to me um, but my little magical cake disc is going to fix this issue so before I get started with showing how I use my cake disc um, obviously I have a cake here, so six inches like I said, and it's already been crumb coated and this has been in the fridge, so this was actually in the fridge overnight. So this is cool to the touch, which is what we want. And I also have a circle of parchment paper here cut to the same size of my disc. Um, I actually literally traced and cut it out, um, but you definitely need parchment paper um, so that when we put the disc on, and there's frosting and we pull off it doesn't like take all the frosting off with it so parchment paper very key so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of my buttercream and i'm going to dot it around the edges of my acrylic cake disc and i'm just going to adhere my parchment paper to my little buttercream glue just like that so this is ready to go so there are actually different ways to do this like you can see other um, bakers like they have tutorials on YouTube um, some people like do it kind of different methods but this is the method that works for me so I'm gonna take a lot of buttercream frosting and put it on top of my cake we're gonna be very generous here don't be stingy and this layer of frosting doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna end up cleaning up the top at the very end so now I have my parchment paper on my acrylic cake disc and I'm just gonna set this right on the top. Make sure that that is centered. So from here, I'm basically going to put a very thick layer, like encasing my disc. So one thing, if you are using acrylic cake discs, you're gonna use a lot of buttercream frosting. So you may wanna make like a batch and a half or a double batch, but for me, the results are definitely worth it. So I'm like encasing the disc with frosting here. So 
after I have the disc like completely adhered and like hugged in with frosting, I'm gonna go back and continue just to add frosting to the sides. And what's gonna end up happening is I'm using the edge of my acrylic disc and I'm gonna hold my scraper against it eventually when this is all filled in and scrape that whole layer of frosting. And because this is at like a 90 degree angle, we're gonna get a straight edge. And this acrylic disc is really helping me create that straight line. So now I'm gonna take my scraper and I'm holding it like it's at a 90 degree angle and then I'm actually going to like tilt it in at like 45 so that I can drag my frosting. But the top is flat against that acrylic cake disc and I'm just gonna start smoothing this out and I'm gonna be taking frosting with me. And it's not gonna look great at first. It's very clear you have to go back in and patch it in a few different places, but you can already see how much straighter that looks compared to when I started with my little crooked crumb coated cake. So at this point, I'm just gonna kind of like get in my own little zone and keep scraping and patching away. So now that I have scraped away until my heart is content, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the fridge for about 20 minutes, and this step is very important. Um, and it's also, I just have to say, it's so hard to know when to stop. I feel like you could scrape, patch, and smooth for like two hours and still find a flaw. <laughs> So this is gonna go ahead and go into the fridge for 20 minutes. So my cake is out of the fridge and I'm gonna take this little offset spatula. So I heated this up over the stove so this is actually very hot. And I'm going to slide it under to my cake disc. And I'm trying to get between the disc and the parchment paper. I'm going to peel away the parchment paper. And then we're not quite done. Um, this top needs a little bit of TLC. So I'm just gonna fill this in with a little bit more frosting and smooth it out. So now my cake is done and ready to go. It's a blank canvas ready to be decorated. And you can definitely see what a difference the acrylic cake just made from the homely little crooked cake, crumb coated, to this, which has nice straight sides. Um, and for me, these have been really helpful. So I encourage you to try them and see what you think. And I hope that you found this tutorial um, helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.